My name is Tosin Omolaja, and you're welcome to NAFDAQ and your else, where we bring you all the important information you need to know about NAFDAQ, the agency saddled with the responsibility of safeguarding our health by ensuring that the foods, drugs, cosmetics, and medical equipment made available to us are safe and wholesome. Since she took over Elms of NAFDAQ late 2017, Professor Mujisola Adeye has been working double time to ensure that the agency measures up to global standards in every aspect of its operations and corporate culture. The story of NAFDAQ since November 30, uh, 2017, has been a transformative story. It has been a transformative story uh, because when God leads you, uh, sometimes you wonder, why am I here? But God led me through experiences that prepared me for NAPDAC. Uh, I was at a university in the US uh, that I didn't know they were almost bankrupt before I joined the university, and they got a new vice president uh, VC equivalent, they call them president over there. And he saw the books of the university, the financial status of the university, and he said that everybody in that university needed brain washing, washing of brain, in terms of change of culture. I joined that university around the same time that the president joined, uh, which was months before I came in, and it put us through bi-weekly seminars on how to think right, on how to think of the customer. Our customers were our students. But in NAVDAQ, the customers are you and me. So I came to NAVDAQ and God used that experience or prepared me to use that experience to transform NAVDAQ. We became customer focused, agency minded. If you are customer focused, agency minded, it means you love your country. If you are not customer focused, you are not agency minded, you don't love Nigeria. That set us on a journey. And that journey took us through quality management system training for one and a half years. And we've got our ISO 9001, when after rather, we cascaded the training from Abuja, Lagos to zones to states. How do you think of customer? How do you put the customer first? That transformed us. Have we, are we there yet? No. It is a journey, but it is night and day compared to where we were. The, the directors that I'm working with are fantastic. If not, I wouldn't be this successful. Uh, fantastic. And you have some geniuses in NAVDAQ that I just discover with time uh, because I didn't know anybody before, which was good, but uh, fantastic uh, workforce. There are bad eggs in NAVDAQ too, and we deal with them. Whilst these efforts have shown significant results, the agency is also concerned and indeed focused on ensuring that all of these remains ethos of the agency in perpetuity. Training and retraining of its workforce becomes integral to ensuring this is so. Training of staff has been a constant thing in NAVDA. In fact, right from the time you are employed, we do orientation. During orientation, we make them to go through what NAVDA is all about. We put them through give them necessary documents. And from time to time, we organize in-house training. Sometimes it could be outside that will get customized training like this one for staff, depending on the CADA, a tailored training to suit the purpose for which it is organized. Apart from the frequent in-house training that different sections of the agency receive, Senior members of the workforce, specifically deputy directors, were recently trained in preparation for top leadership roles and indeed other aspects relevant to the agency's growth and qualitative sustainability. We are in the Center for Management Development, Center Shangisha, Lagos, 
uh, the deputy directors from the north central zone, um, the south south, south east, uh, all converge here for uh, training, for secession planning, um, um, with the magnanimity of our director general, Professor Mrs. Christiana Mojadeye. And um, that is basically why we've been here since Monday. And the training here has been very thorough, educative, informative, and very robust. Social planning does not start when you are already, in, no, 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 no. Social planning started with what recruitment. Yes. So, after assessment of the position, it follows by what? Recruitment. Basically, we are. Um, addressing issues like uh, leadership, issues like succession planning. We are addressing issues like emotional uh, intelligence because as they grow up in the system, they need to know more about uh, how to deal with uh, issues that can bring uh, uh, emotion. So we are also talking about uh, issue of budgeting and accounting because they are dealing, these are the things that they will be dealing with as they are climbing the position of leadership. It's about uh, change management, it's about strategic planning and uh, how to move the agency forward. And uh, we've learned a lot of tools about management. And uh, I think what we've learned uh, will impact on the performance of not only the participants, but entire staff that work on the house. Uh, one new thing we learned about this is actually about uh, how do we ensure that when you are not on seat, when you are out for another assignment, you have somebody who you have re replicated to be able to perform just the way you perform. Really, I mean, the, we've been taught, you know, how to do that. There are some topics that are very germane to the agency, talking about uh, succession planning, talking about mentoring, talking about emotional intelligence talking about uh, administrative structures, uh, the resource persons, they'd be able to give us um, a lot of provoking and uh, inspiring lectures that has really uh, bring about a lot of discussion amongst we, the participants. We've, we've learned so much. We are dwelling on how to handle staff. And uh, one of the topics actually taken is emotional intelligence where you put yourself in people's shoes. Empathy, you, you try to see why staff are behaving in certain ways, you, and you don't allow personal interests to override your action. You know, you don't, when you have staff, you have different people behaving different ways. You have to understand each and every one of them why they are behaving that way. That's the way how you can park every, can park everybody to work as a team in your division. Of course, it should help us to be able to handle the public better. And um, I know Nigeria, that's one of the things we kept saying here. Nigerians, we know we have a lot of problems, a whole lot of problems. And the kind of society we have been brought up in has made people very aggressive and very hard and all of that. So these are the people that are our customers. But of course, as um, somebody who is servicing the public, you should have a more composed you know, um, stance and all of that. So we have, I'm sure we have gotten adequate tips and training preparation for us to be able to do better in handling our customers and even our in, um, uh, colleagues in the office and the general public here. This training is designed to enhance the cultural transformation that had begun since Professor Adeyeyi took over the management of NAFDAQ. As the name suggests, the succession management and leadership training for NAFDAQ deputy directors, the people in the next line of succession, it tells you how much the agency values its workforce and the need to train them to, be, to have capable hands, to take the pattern of leadership to the future. And I've learned quite a lot, you know, uh, though they, some of them are not entirely new, but new, um, new issues have come up and how to resolve some complex issues in the workplace situation. And I think uh, when I get back, I'm going to apply them and it's going, to, um, it's going to feature well in my daily performance. It talks about relationship you know, with uh, you know, your stakeholders, the customers that come to you, 
those that come to register product, those that you visit their facility for inspection, those that will come with challenges. How do you help them also overcome those challenges? You know, in terms of registration, in terms of inspection, and uh, also in terms of when you discover products that are fake and counterfeit, you know, how do you go about it? And how do you also handle some of those people, you know, the victims and uh, some of the suspects in these things? So it's an all-encompassing, you know, training, really. It's been an in-depth thing. We have talked about the structure of the agency. We have talked about, talked about the challenges we are facing. We've talked about a lot of constraints. And we're hoping that at the end of the day, the communicate to the management will help management maybe to make decisions concerning those areas. Of course, um, we're expected to cascade the training down. There may have been ways uh, we were doing things that we have found out that there are better ways of doing it. One of those things as a leader is how you interact with your subordinates. It has really opened our eyes to planning, management, setting goals and objectives, and uh, how to uh, achieve those goals and objectives. And I believe that by the time we return back to our station, we should, be able to, we should be able to develop very, very clear, specific objectives, measurable objectives, realistic objectives, time-bound objectives, and uh, match with the uh, goals in line with the agency's uh, uh, vision of uh, safeguarding public health. And uh, by the time we also go back, the knowledge we have gotten here will also help us to serve our clients better. Because uh, when we set, set down goals and objectives of product registration, it's a direct benefit of those who manufacture, who import, who export, distribute, and use regulated products. So with the, learn, with the training we have gotten here, it also helps us to manage our stakeholders. One thing I also mention here is the training and knowledge we got on uh, uh, emotional intelligence. Honestly, it will help us better manage our workforce and at the same time better manage our stakeholders. NAFTAC and your else will be right back. Please stay tuned. The MedSafety app is the latest reporting tool introduced by the National Agency for Food Drug Administration and Control in November 2020 as part of the Innovative Medicines Initiative project. The app is made available to the public in collaboration with World Health Organization, Uppsala Monitoring Center, Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, UK, and National Agency for Food, Drugs and Administration and Control, NAFDAQ. The MedSafety app allows users to track safety information of medicines, vaccines and other health products, report adverse drug reaction to a medicine or vaccine, and view data on suspected side effects. When you have received your COVID-19 vaccine, you can use the MedSafety app to report any adverse reaction or side effect you may feel. The app can be used by anybody, irrespective of whether you are a medical practitioner or not. You, your family and friends, everyone can download and use the MedSafety app to report adverse drug reaction. Just search for MedSafety on Google Play Store for Android and App Store for iOS. When using the app for the first time, the user needs to select his or her region. In this case, Nigeria and also choose the preferred language of choice. The user will then be taken to the login page where you create an account by providing your email and password or proceed as a guest. To create an account, you are required to provide the following details. Reporter type, example, physician or pharmacist, as well as their name and email address, password with at least nine characters with one uppercase letter and a number. Read the privacy statement and accept. Once you are logged in, the user is presented with a number of tabs which includes news, products and watch lists. Under the Reports tab, 
the user can report a new suspected adverse drug reaction, ADR. On opening a new report, the user is prompted to impute patient details which include initials, sex and date of birth. The user is then required to impute details of the suspected medicine. This includes suspected medicine name, other drug details such as strength, batch, dosage details, multiple suspect drugs and concomitant drugs can be added at any time. The report can be saved and completed at a later time. A saved report can be found on pending reports and can be continued by clicking on the report and continuing from where the user stopped. Enter reaction details, reaction date and outcomes. Multiple suspects reaction can also be added. Also, further details about the report can also be included, such as did the reaction cause prolonged hospitalization, disability, congenital anomaly or birth defect, life-threatening results in deaths and so on. Finally, you can also add details of any relevant medical history before submitting the report. The user receives a message on the app confirming submission and an acknowledgement in the mail for submission. Reports can be created and saved without internet connection and be sent whenever internet connection is available. The product tabs show all medicines in the NAFDAQ list database. It's easier to navigate to a drug or vaccine of interest and this data is obtained from the WHO Uppsala Monitoring Center. User can also add products of interest to their watch list to get the latest information on the drugs. All products added to the watch list can be viewed in the watch list tab. The news tab displays drug safety information by NAFDAQ. This is usually up to date with drug safety information. Registered users can also edit their profile or change app settings. For more information on the app, please contact the National Pharmacovigilance Center NPC at NAFDAQ Headquarters, Plot 2032, Ulusha Basanjo Way, Wusei Zone 7, Abuja, or call 092905110 or send email to medsafetyapp at navdac.gov.ng or pharmacovigilance at navdac.gov.ng. Welcome back. If you are just joining in, you're watching NAFDAQ and your health. A rigorous but transformational training program, all participants are encouraged to take active parts in the learning process for maximum impact. We are in a dynamic environment. Life is changing. Everything is changing in the world. They need to be equipped with new skills in managing human beings particularly. Because at position of leadership, the, the challenges which these people are going to face uh, are those things that we are addressing in the class. And uh, the, the responses of the participants uh, are, are very, very encouraging. It has been a brainstorming um, time. We have all, in all the lectures, we have gone into syndicate groups wherein we made presentation basically on succession plan and um, we are able to, you know, see wherein we are going into as directors and what is expected of us to do to um, help in the vision and the mission of the agency to bring it in a better light and to, you know, give a helping hand and also be in the, on the same page with the director general so as to function well and work with the mandates of the agency. The agency has made and continues to make this sort of investment in order to ensure that NAFDAQ continues to grow stronger and guarantees that it consistently delivers on its mandate. Apart from improving us personally, it's also for the overall interest of the organization because the organization is a bigger beneficiary. If you notice where well, a lot of resources have been spent by management to do this trade for us because they know our common body should be value for money. It's going to reflect in what we do going forward. And that is why I say that from what we learned today, we've learned quite a lot, you know, but it helps us to sharpen our skill and improve our efficiency levels. I also want to thank our Director General, uh, Professor Medis Modishola Adeyeye, for always 
having it uh, a topmost in her priority to develop high level uh, and skilled managers to work with. And this is one of those benefits. We want to commend her and encourage her to keep it up. I will promise to give her value for whatever investment she has made in us. Training investment is everlasting. Training investment is everlasting. Uh, and we believe that uh, this one that uh, we have given them, they will come to the organization and uh, we believe that it's going to have an impact on their productivity and performance. So it can never be a waste. Gege bi yara a yon takun takun ta jo nabda ki gule, la ti dena shele jamba fun le rara wa. Ni pase a wan on to le wu fun le rara wa. La ti ara wan je ta anje, e yi to ting bile ni lò lò yi, a jo nabda ki infi a sipo yi gba gbogbara lu ni mò rao. La ti te le yi bese a ti la nò wan yi, ni pa a wan on ta anje. On kon ta ba ti pe le ro ja kemika ki ishe on je o. Ni diye yi kogodo kan ha han, ta bi enu re. Si she be le wu fun yi le ara re o lewu lati fi ogun yibo paracetamol tabi ogun miran se onje o le sakoba fun edoforo ifun ati eyara miran ma se lo kabadi lati mu eso pon o le sokun fa arun jejere tabi kokoba ifun tabi edoforo O le wupalu, la ti lo ogun akpa kokoro ta mose snapa. Le kokoro ta biye she she jina. Sa won te nun je, ni bita akbe se. Bo ti wu kenye se on je to, ko le pa akbara to wa nino o elu nan ta mose snapa. Ma she ba wamu akbo kakbo, ta bo unko un ti wang popo. Ti ko ni on te, a ti namba a jon nabda ki lara. O she she ko le wu, she jamba, fe mi re. Ajeju awon un isebe to ma mo bedun le sakoba fun le rara re pelu ma se da eroja kemika kokon mo onje tabi omumu yala fun ko le mu onje tabi omumu na te lenu tabi ko dun lenu oju se gbogbo wa ni lati ri pe awon un tenun je ta mu ko le wu fun ile rara wa ajo nabdak ajo fun idagba soke to lera orilede wa that's our package for today Please join us, same time, same station, next week for a fresh edition. In the meantime, if you have comments, complaints, or you want to report activities of fake drugs or adulterated food product peddlers, our doors are always open. You can reach NAFTA via toll-free numbers. For inquiries, call 0700-162-3322. For complaints, call 0800-162-3322. You may also email nafdac at nafdac.gov.ng. If you have complaints about any form of misconduct, you can reach the Reforms Unit via email. Reforms at nafdac.gov.ng or call the Reforms Hotlines on 909 Seven six three zero five zero six or zero nine zero nine seven six three zero five zero seven NAFDAC customer focused agency minded COVID nineteen is real. Please ensure you and your family follow safety measures as outlined by the NCDC. Stay away from crowded places as much as possible, and if you must be out there please wear a face mask. Wash your hands regularly with soap and water and ensure you use only NAFDAQ-approved alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Taking the NAFDAQ-approved COVID-19 vaccine is safe. It's our best bet of stamping out the deadly coronavirus. And don't forget to download the Med Safety app from iOS or Play Store to report any adverse reaction from the vaccine or any other medicine at all. See you next week. Stay safe.